for Halloween and really just October as a whole, I've been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon 2 and I can't deny it. Darkest Dungeon 2 is a Christian game. Hello, I'm your sick Christian boy, Noah Price, and I'm here to talk about Darkest Dungeon 2. Again, as mentioned, I've been playing a lot of this game over on Hero Scrub, my, my gaming channel that you can go watch now if you want to. I'm, one thing I've been finding again, as I mentioned, is this game, while it doesn't state down that it is a Christian based game, I will say that it has a lot of correlations, a lot of themes that is very close to Christian themes. Ideas of walking in your faith and the struggles that we live in our daily lives. While yes, our world isn't quite as sick as it looks like in Darkest Dungeon 2, but spiritually I guess we can agree it's not pretty. What I've enjoyed about this game is its themes and how it's touched on kind of the Christian theme. This idea of you are the last light in the world, you are the last hope, and you must carry it to the mountain and vanquish it in this dark times. As Christians, it's hard not to hear that and think of the Bible. Literally, Jesus Christ himself was called the light of the world, and through him we also become light. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And this fits in with our separation of how we used to not be in the light, but used to be in this dark, corrupted world, or in Darkest Dungeon stage, we were the enemies in this game. We were as Ephesians 5 8 says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. And sure, there's not a crazy correlation that the game specifically says that yes, these are sinners, but they are the corruption of the world and the effects of the cult or that which is not of God. Sure, the game is heavy on themes of like Cthulhu and all that, but deep down, even if it is Cthulhu, that is still opposite of God. It's not of God, which is might as well be demons. But what I like even more of this idea of darkness and, and then the pain we've been into is one thing the game does great besides these kind of like set pieces and, and designs and themes of like, okay, you're the light of the world. And in some regards, this light is your faith. We'll talk a little bit more about that. I also like how the game has it emphasizes on the character's stories. You get to find out a bit more than you got to in the Darkest Dungeon 1. In Darkest Dungeon 1, the characters are just fodder for the most part. But in the Darkest Dungeon 2, you have these moments where you can go to the past and learn more about the character's story. And, and it unlocks more to the character for uh, Reptibor, what he wants to use in the game to survive. And again, what I love so much about this is not that these memories are beautiful or really have a clear cut connection to God. In fact, it probably doesn't. It, in case, it actually in fact shows off the more sinful and the wrongness of human nature and, and how through human nature we can cause so much harm to others. Now this trauma locked away can be just avoid, but once we actually dig into our past, God can use that as weaponry in our fight, in our walk today, as we travel and try to let our light shine. How do we let this light shine? Again, the idea that this game has of this light and you are carrying this hope and it's a massive part of mechanic wise in the game of stress levels and dealing with stress on this journey, on this path that we are taking, but dealing with this light and not letting it get snuffed out, but letting it shine. Another part of this that's an extension of this light is these candles. The game uses candles as a way of like a meta progression to unlock more in the late game and i love how much that again it showcases our walk with jesus christ I, i'm not even kidding you our life excretions on this journey these candles are our faith the more we have of this faith in the game it unlocks more and allows us to have so much more and more weaponry to deal with the forces ahead of us now sure you could say that like the people the characters that you have on your team aren't christians for sure but what i do love is it does showcase well just christians in general and the the family of god and the fact that we're not great either we're fallen broken people who are coming in with different kind of backgrounds and different stories points and a major point of this game is working together that idea in Christian living is unification and coming together while we are different, still coming together unified on the idea that we are Christians, we are following God, we believe in God, and we want to share that love with others. And yet we're still different and we can use those characteristics to benefit each other. But if there's strife in the family, your run is not going to work. The game is heavy on actually balancing your stress levels and how through stress and, and struggles, we can either falter have a meltdown or we can be resolute and get stronger it's our choice in these matters but what's even 
better is is when we get these choices, it impacts those around us, our team, our church, our family. It impacts how we work together towards serving God and running the race. Or in this case, a run in <laughs> Darkest Dungeon 2. Again, I just think a lot of this really showcases the way of, of life as a Christian. It demonstrates our way of life and how we are called to run this race in a dark time. We are called to let our light shine and keep this hope of the world. Of course, the hope isn't just us, it's ultimately God and it's us pointing to that. That's what our light is. But I just love how much of these connections fit in line with this game, Darkest Dungeon 2. And in, in its own, Darkest Dungeon 2 is just a fun game in itself. Darkest Dungeon 2 really reminded me of my calling as a Christian to let my light shine and how deep down this is the life that we have we have agreed upon. We are on this journey, we are on this roguelike, and it's our mission. And it's something that takes not just us, but others around us to succeed in. We can't do it alone, and we need to be unified with each other, and through that it bolsters our faith, and we're able to continue the race. Matthew 5. 14 through 16, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I hope you guys are having a great Halloween season if you're watching this when this came out or if you're watching this later. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm honestly sick right now, so I'm trying to get over it. So if it seems like I'm a little bit all over the place, sorry about that. I hope you have some grace. But again, I've just been playing Darkest Dungeon 2 a lot. I've been enjoying a lot. So again, if you want to check that out, that's over on Hero Scrub. And I uh, hope you guys have a good time. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Bye, guys. Shalom. Everybody's going to get taunted. Which means nobody's taunted, if you really think about it. Everyone's just vulnerable.